Hey everybody, does anybody remember back when I used to start all the videos with greetings or something cute? It was because my friends in Hawaii were saying like, I really like when you do that. And I was just like, okay, I know you guys watch my videos, so I'll do it for you. Um, I got this like really cool fan thingy from uh, Walgreens. If you plug it into your phone, he goes... It's it's actually really nice. It moves air around, um, but when you're hot, it's better to not to have the air moving around than not. Um, this is kind of like a vloggy video, but more just like a talky video. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm gonna just turn that off. It's kind of 80 degrees outside. Um, I'm at the local church, I just parked here because I didn't wanna. I didn't know where else to go, so. I had like a bunch of things to say and I forgot most of them. The first thing was, I was telling these two friends about um, when I would take walks on my street. And I'd be wearing like a shirt and leggings, but I don't think it matters what I was wearing. And I would have older Asian men, because that's the demographic of my area, Asians. Um, like people who are like my father's age or like an uncle's age or something like that. They would, as they're driving by me, they would like see me and they would like just do that and crane their necks and like look out their back window to continue staring at me. And I was telling these two guys, I was saying like, this happens like every single car with older Asian men who are in it passing by will do this. The younger men don't. The other Asians don't. It's just, the women don't. It's just the older Asian men. And I was telling them, it made me very uncomfortable. Like, it was, felt like I was being creeped on. And I wasn't, like, I didn't feel safe in, on my own street. And I was, like, either walking myself or walking my dog. Like, it doesn't feel good. And, like, one of them was, like, oh, you're probably over-exaggerating or you're imagining it. The other one was, like, yes, I see that. But also, and they started talking about their own experience of how once they were driving and this family with the dog, the dog ran into the street. They had to stop really quick. So he was like, oh, I'm watching for like the dog running onto the street. So I have to be careful. I was like, I can see that. But one, my dog's on a very tight leash. Two, my street has five lanes. It's like as wide as a freeway because each of the lanes are huge. They're not like tiny lanes. They're huge lanes. And I'm on the opposite side of where they are. So I'm like one, two, four lanes away or I guess five lanes. They're in this lane. I'm walking on the sidewalk over here. I'm pretty darn far away and like they're definitely not watching my dog to make sure he doesn't walk and run into the street because if he ran into the street your car would already be gone like that's how fast it is also like I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus is so I love it because my old Pokemon Go Plus um it died the little thing that looked like a, a pin from like Google Maps um, I put a heart on it so it would glow less, but the heart was like the biggest, smallest sticker I could find within this size. And I got this like Snorlax thing. Um, I derived from Amazon over the weekend, but it's so cute and I love it. And I like, I like, I've, I haven't been sleeping more, but it's been dragging my sleep, which is fun. And Pokemon sleep is fun, except for the fact it doesn't track all of my sleeps on the correct day. And if you have too many tracks in one day, it doesn't count. And then like, my old account got deleted because my friend was like, just uninstall it and reinstall it. But I didn't realize when you make your account, it doesn't ask you for an email. It would just log to your phone. So if you have Pokemon Go Sleep, make sure to link your email right now. Because <laughs> um, I had to make a new account and they were like, oh, send me all the info you can about your old account. Last time you logged in, info about it, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see what we can do, but no promises. And I was that was like last week or Friday or something like that. And I was like, uh, and I've been playing on this new account. Like I'm not fully committed to it, but I've been playing on it for the past like 10-ish days because they don't respond that quickly because I'm sure they get a lot of like customer support emails. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was telling these friends about that and it was just, it was so horrible. To have these two guys, it's making me water, to have these two guys, one tell me that I'm making it up or imagining it, and the second one saying, it's about your dog, it's not about you. But like, I myself, I see other people walking in my city because it's very safe, and I'm like, okay, cool, they're walking, right? Like, you see them when you press, but, but the fact someone's actually owl pivoting their necks and their heads, 
to look behind them into this window means they're being creepy. And the fact that these two people that I trusted, now I was, I was supposed to be trust, like, I trust these people. They're supposed to be important to me. They said that was so disheartening. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Anyway, um, I wanted to make this video to play about work. <laughs> oh god. So I've been doing really well at work. I feel like I always give like work updates and they're always really positive. Um, I don't know the last update I made. So I started this job in first, second week of October. Worked three, four days, <laughs> left early, got COVID, got better. Well, the last day I tested positive and the day after I was negative. Or I did like two, three days of negative before I went out. Um, was Halloween. <laughs> the first time I went out after COVID was Halloween because I didn't test negative until like October 28th or something like that. And then I went back to work the Monday after Halloween or the next work day after Halloween. <laughs> so like I didn't work I basically worked three days or four days in October so November I tell people I started in November even though technically it was in October but, like they count like my three months as October November December so that was good um anyway I've gotten like a bunch of one dollar raises they started me at like 16 or 17 and I like complained also they saw that I was good at my job and so they gave me like one dollar raise here and then I'll give you another dollar next month. Oh, and they'll do like, cause like, uh, you get paid every like 30th and 15th and they're like, oh, we'll give you like, it was like the 14th or 13th when they told me, they are like, oh, we'll give you the extra dollars starting like this past one that you're going to get paid for on the 15th. I was like, yay. Okay. I get an extra like, okay, cool. And then, um, so I'm up to 20 an hour. Ooh. What just fell? My sunglasses. And then there's also like commission, which is 0.7 of a percent. And I was doing like a huge order the other day, and I was like, out of this order, I get 22 bucks. But also, like the past few months, except for one of them, I think I was, I don't know what happened that month. I was, I've been getting, oh, it was the month that was like my official third month, and I only got counted for half of the month, um, because I started it like on the 15th or something. I don't know. Um, I've been getting a thousand dollars in commissions, pre-tax, this is all pre-tax talk. And, which is good and bad at the same time, because getting an extra thousand dollars in America, I don't know how other places work, brings you up a tax bracket if you are only making 20 bucks an hour. So like, it, it, out of the thousand, one thousand dollar that I get earned in commission, I probably only get like five to six hundred of it, which is so ridiculous. And like, um, so they gave me more work because I was complaining like I wasn't getting enough money for the work I was doing. So they were like, we'll give you more work and then you'll get more commission. And I was like, that's not how it works. You're giving me more work, but you're not paying me more. I'm earning my commission, but I'm, I'm not getting paid for my work. And like, so I think I talked about this before. They gave me I have two territories now. Uh, the first territory has like five to six states. The second territory has five to six states. So that's like, I got at least 10 states out of the 50 of the US, <laughs> I guess. And then one of my coworkers who I just checked, she has six, five to six states. I think it was six. I don't know. Six, six. And she, a few months ago, she claimed she was too overworked or either too stressed or couldn't handle the workload. So she gave away two of her states. So she's done four. One to me, one to another coworker who's been working there a very long time. Um, so she has four left. And like one of them is small, the other, the, one of them's Florida. Like that's a Georgia. She's at Florida, Georgia, and some other southeastern states. Um, like Bible Belt states. And like, okay, it was fine at first, but then it also like gave me the annoyingness the task of having to talk to her sales rep because i have two sales reps now like of the two territories because they have like a different guy for each of the territories now i have to talk to her, her sales rep but only for this one state which is very little slash medium like all of their 
all, a lot of, not all, like I talked in absolutes, but nothing is a very absolute. Many of the customers in North Carolina that I've worked with, you have to chase them for payment. A lot of the big ones there are fine. Like they'll send the checks whenever it's ready, like when they have to send it. But the other ones, you have to like call them and be like, hey, you haven't sent the money. It's been two weeks. Hey, you haven't sent the money. It's been three weeks. Hey, you haven't sent the money. It's been a month since it's been due. Like a lot of them are credit card customers, which you know, you get the card, you swipe the card, you ship them the items. But the other ones that are on, they call it net or credit or whatever, they're supposed to pay after 60 days, okay? Or 30 days. They get the items. Two months have passed. And they're not paying for their items, which they've already sold and made money on. And like, why the hell aren't you paying me? Why do I have to call you every single week for a month to get your money? And I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do her work that she didn't want to do. And then, so on like Friday or whatever, she like, she messaged me because we have to do these like reports every week to like, say we're like catching up on payment for like our customers. Um, and I don't do her her states um i just do my two guys um because like they're sorted by uh rep numbers like territories so i don't look at any of the north carolina ones and she like messages me i was like hey can you check on these two and i'm like you could send it it's very easy to send an email and send it and she's like oh you're supposed to do it because you did the order so i was like well i don't care because they're not on my report so i don't give a crap and she's like well, this day is now your responsibility, so talk to management if you have a problem. And then that was like when we clocked, like five minutes before we clocked out. I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. So I sent an email to my supervisor. And I was like, hey, I hate doing this state. I'm not picking up her work. And like, I'm not getting any benefits. And the customers are like, poor not poor but like they're not willing to pay and like even my manager knows because i've been telling her about it i've been chasing payments for like a whole month and that's just one person and, like it's so ridiculous i'm like and like the sales rep is hard to work with because they're like oh it's fine just send them the items we don't need money from them it's fine i trust them we've been friends a long time that's not how business works um so i i just sent her an email on friday i was like i don't want to do this i don't want the state talk to whomever you need to talk to i'm not happy and she's like, and she's like, I saw your email. I'm gonna, she says something like, I'll marinate on it and think about how to like say it. And then earlier, today's Monday, I asked her after work, cause everyone else had gone. I was like, hey, what do you think about my email? Would you say to them? And she's like, oh, they're kind of busy right now. This isn't the best time to tell them. And also like, we're really in the busy season. I was like, this is the best time to tell them cause I'm not happy and I don't need to like you guys need me because you you have me handling a huge bulk of the i um the work and like if i'm not happy like you're screwed and she's like i understand i'm like okay work on it thank you goodbye see you tomorrow <laughs> and then i go home <laughs> and i'm playing pokemon <laughs> Whew, that was a long <laughs> Goodbye.